All right, hello, hello, hello. Now we're going to take a look at the these last two cards from King's Court, the market support and the Union XYZ support. Now, neither of these are scripted. I'm going to do both of those in this single video. So let's get to it. Uh, magnet induction, normal spell. If you control a magnet warrior, uh, whose original level is 4 or lower, spell someone on level 4 or lower magnet warrior from your deck with a different name than the cards you control. Also, for the rest of this turn, if this card resolves, Mild Warriors and Magna Warriors you control cannot be shown by battle with your opponent's card effects, and you can only activate one per turn. Okay, uh, so let's see, what does this do? Special summons from the deck. Um, well, let's start with something that does just that as the base. It's a spell, special summons from the deck. So I'm just gonna copy all this. Paste it here, and then we're going to work with this. Um, okay, so let's see. First of all, we need the ones per turn. One IT. Let me grab the flag from Out of Duality. This one. Boom. Okay. Hard ones per turn done. Special summon, activate free chain, all this is correct, it has no cost. Okay, so all the stuff here is correct pretty much. Now we need to adjust the functions down here. So the condition is, you need to control a magnet warrior whose original level is 4 or lower. So we're going to change this. Is existing matching card. Um, say filter I guess. Location and zone. I need to sneeze, but it's not. It doesn't want to let me sneeze. God damn it. See so if I did the pin location and zone and control it. At least one. Okay. And the filter, where right above, is going to be a return. It's to be face up. And it's to be. A pilot warrior. I'm gonna find the archetype set code in a moment, and it needs to be the original level. Um, so set pilot uh, warrior. There we go. And um, original level. Needs to be level four or lower. So seek it. Original level is less than or equal to four. If you control a mind warrior, okay. So this the goods are conditioned. It's already done. Now the target function. Uh, we need to check. Uh, we have empty master zones, and we have something in our deck to special summon. So we're gonna change this to. SP. Now we don't need to action filter, and this is going to be level four or lower magnet warrior. So it needs to be level four or lower. That's already here. It needs to be a magnet warrior. So let's add this as well. Can be special summoned, and it needs to have a different name from everything in our field. So and that is existing matching card. the face up function card is code seek it code uh, tp location on field okay so basically we're checking here there's something in our deck right that is a mild warrior so for lower it can be special summoned and there's no card on our field that's face up and has the same name as the one we're checking at this specific moment in the deck. That's pretty much it. 
I don't think I made a mistake here in the parentheses. No, it seems fine. Okay. Aha, uh -huh, so that's the target function and then the resolution. Over here, we're going to have the protection effects. And then we select something to special summon and special summon it. That's pretty much it. And over here, we're going to add the can I destroy by battle or effects for the rest of this turn. Now, where should we copy that from to make this quick? Mad Warrior, can I destroy by your battle? Um, this turn mm, something that uh right this this should work except we just have to change it to only your mad warriors. So I think it's, let's see, it's this part of the effect. Let's go back here. Oops. So for the rest of this turn, masters you control, can absorb a battle. And then this, uh, or rather, we're gonna add a target function. Which is going to return uh, I think it takes E and C as parameters. This is going to check that it's a magnet warrior or a magnet warrior. Oops. Set magnet warrior. So, cannot be destroyed. The battle. <clears throat> uh, or the opponent's artifacts. Okay. And then, let's do the. I think it's gonna be a clone. Two is a one clone. Um. The only difference is being that the the code is gonna be different, and the value is going to be not the value. Yeah, the value is going to be different as well. So first of all, the code is going to be for cannot be destroyed by card effects. Let me find that real quick. Um, what, what card does that? It's not affected. Um, Go. And then the value is probably going to be in Doval. Let me check. Uh, yeah. So this is for indestructible opponent value. So it checks that it can restore by the opponent's effects, but it can still be destroyed by your own effects, basically. That's the idea. Okay, so I think this is fine. If I remember how this effect works properly. Uh, I should you it should have a... Let me 
Yeah, the face up check here. And I think you should have a no immune flag. Let's go ahead and test it. We need Magnet Warriors. So if I have, um, let's see if I have... That's a decent combo, I suppose, so... Third force. Check for the opponent's destruction. Mm. So it will be for the battle. Okay. So basically, okay, we're gonna use it here. If I summon this. This should be able to use it in some gamma. There we go. Okay, my trigger summons this. This triggers and searches Berserkian. You get the point. Okay. And then uh, if I summon this in attack position and attack with gamma, gamma should not be stopped by the battle. That's the idea. Okay. So the battle protection works. Now let me set the mirror force first. Same name thing works fine. So I should not be able to summon a uh, beta. Yeah, okay. So this works so this works fine. All good. The most pattern, I think I didn't forget about it. Yep. Just summon different name. It's all good. Alrighty. So let's move on to the the last card for today, which is XYZ Hyper Cannon. Which I also I'm going to scoot from scratch. No continue strap. You must control XYZ or a fusion master that lists XYZ. As material to activate this card's effect. Okay, this is going to be a shared condition. This card's effect depends on whose turn it is, so it's kind of like the, Amaz the Amazonas, the uh, amazement traps, amaze attraction traps. Okay, your turn. Target one of your banished union masters. Place on the bottom if you do draw one. Okay, and your opponent's turn. Discard any number of cards, target the same number of cards that one controls, destroy them. You can only use this effect once per turn. Okay. So first of all, um, for the regular, for the activation of the card, we just need any, we just need this. Oops. Pretty much. And then we're gonna have two separate effects for the for each of these two. Okay. So the first effect is going to be the draw one. The second effect is going to be the destroy. 
So these are quick effects. Pretty much. Uh, ancient gear reborn, I think. Is it good one? Yep, I can copy this. So let's see, uh, the first effect is going to be the draw. So when it category to deck, get category draw, oops, draw, quick off, we chain a zone, uh, it does target, it's going to be hard once per turn, and let's do draw con. G, OP. Um, it, this does list uh, listed cards. Oops. X, Y, Z. So let's do this now. So before I forget. Okay, so target one of your banished union masters based on the bottom of your deck if you do draw one. Okay, let's do the condition first though. Um, let me just copy this real quick. It's gonna be used as a template. Okay, the icon. Don't need these two here. Okay, so first of all, there's a separate condition about having to control XYZ. And then there's the turn condition. So, return do is turn player TP. And here we're going to have a second uh, additional function XYZ con. That basically just says I control XYZ or a master that lists it as material. Uh, we just need TP, I think. Turn do is existing magic card. XYZ filter. TP location zone. Zero one. No. The filter is what's going to check so it needs to be face up and it needs to either be um XYZ or it needs to be a fusion monster is type type fusion and it needs to list XYZ as material. For this we're going to use this function called uh, material list code or something let me see is material list code is the card we're checking if it lists and the number is the ID we're checking if it does list it so it needs to be face up and it be XYZ or be a fusion that lists XYZ as material so that's our separate condition uh, uh, this is a separate condition Just going to do this, Oop. and then the um, let me just do this now. Desk on of the other effect is going to be the, uh, the same thing, just a different player here. There has to be the opponent's turn. Okay, so this is dot pg, and we're also going to have 
uh, draw OP here. Okay, so target function of the draw effect. We need to target a banished union monster. Let me make the filter for this first. <clears throat> it's gonna go to the deck. So, did it filter? up uh, face up and it's a union type union and is able to deck okay location removed control TP TD filter don't need to have extra mass no, empty master zones is existing target location removed this is just me adapting the effect we copied from to deck category to deck Deck. It has a target flag and it also needs the draw category, so jar of greed. The operation if I'm in this part. Then in the operation, we're going to return the target back and draw one. Okay, so first of all, uh, if not a git handler, is related to effect e. Then return end. This is so that if this leaves the field before it resolves, it resolves with no effect. Uh, this is going to be our first target. Target get first target if not TC is ready to effect. This is gonna be the same check here. Turn end. And then we need to place it on the bottom. So we need send to deck. Send to deck. So, if this is more than zero, okay, so reason is gonna be reason effect. That is gonna be nil, it's gonna go to the, to the owner's deck. You see here in the sequence, it's going to be deck bottom. Uh huh, like so. So if we put it back and it is in the deck location location deck or the extra deck then the player is going to draw a card. So you can take it on your banish, the unions. Place on the bottom if you do draw one. Okay. And this effect's fine. Yeah, I think this effect is fine. Let me just wait well, your turn so we don't need to take in timing for this. Okay, and then the other effect uh, discard, target, destroy. So I'm going to make it a clone and just gonna change a few things. E2 clone. So when you do a clone like this, basically if it is exactly the same. And then we're going to change a couple of things. Uh, like the... This is just to save us a couple of lines. This is gonna be different. It's gonna be destroyed. But these are the same. 
This is the same, and this is the same. Um, and of course the functions are going to be different. This is going to be Descon. It's going to be Destg. And this would be. I think I already wrote Descon. Yep, I did. Okay. Um, now, as far as the effect itself, just call it a number. Okay, it's exactly the same as Brionic, isn't it? I'm pretty sure it's Brionic. Just call it a number of cards. Okay, it doesn't say to the clear yet. Uh, target the same number of cards your opponent controls. Destroy this bounces. So it's almost identical to this. So let's copy this. And we're going to adjust the functions a little bit. Uh, we need a cost as well. Set cost as this cost. STG SOP. So the differences we need to make is how the following. This needs to say destroy. This needs to be destroy. Get the same number of cards to your controls. Okay. And then. Okay. City's a number you just got it up here. Oh, this has ice bar stuff. Um. Just as I suppose, for a simple discard. Now, let me see. Uh, da, 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 da. Target count. Mm. Yeah, I guess this is so you can discard up to that amount. Huh? if you have something in your hand to discard we don't need this because it doesn't need to be discarded to the gear spe specifically it doesn't, need to, it doesn't need to discard it in general okay and then when you select what you want to discard we're going to have Maximum is going to be RT, which is how many cards the opponent, how many cards the opponent has that can be that can be targeted. I think this should work. Target, destroy, label, and then he uses a label here. <coughs> oh yeah, we need to destroy here. So um, there we go. a little bit actually get target cards
this function already filters out uh, the ones that are only affected by the that are still related to the effecty at this point, and then so it's going to do the check probably. Um, okay, so let's go ahead and test it. Um, so let's see. Oh, but we need we need to control some bullshit cards, so let's go to a puzzle. It's going to be easier, I think. Is it hypercam? Both suck. Uh, white dragon head. You need to banish from our deck. Deck. One more to draw, I suppose. XYZ Dragon Count itself. I'm gonna place it face down. So we can flip it up and see if it works. And V2Z is the fusion that lists uh, XYZ. I'm also gonna place him face down. So there goes the first effect. And the second effect, uh, we need the opponent to have soft target. stuff in my hand to discard. So let's put a bunch of terraformings in my hand. Okay. Let's see if it works. So I should be able to activate the card, but not use the effect. Okay, I cannot use the effect yet. If I flip him face up, um, I should be able to use the draw effect. Okay, there we go. Look at this. Bottom draw one. Okay, that seems fine. And then on the opponent's turn, um, it's a puzzle, so we need to. Forgot about that. We need to remove this line so that it doesn't end immediately. Puzzles by default only last one turn. So if I flip this, then the opponent's turn, I should be able to ban to destroy stuff. I can discard any number up to three. Say so discard two. These destroy them. Okay. Bam, bam. Um, I want to uh, timing. Um, what's my call? <coughs> Keen timing here. Uh, because the opponent's turn. Let's do timings. Check monster E, I suppose. Whenever monster is placed on the field and during the end phase, seems fine. And let's check if it works with B2Z as well. Okay, seems to work fine. is if I, I can use the effect on the initial activation it should be fine but let's see yep okay I'm choosing the draw effect of course because it's my turn and then same thing the destroy effect and then we're done yep okay it's got two it's probably two okay Okay, 
All good. We are done. Pretty sure I can't think of anything else. Helmos Batan is here and it's cloned here, so it's fine. Um, let's put the property here. Both effects target. Okay, I think it's fine. Right, so. Uh, thank you for watching. This was the Magnet and the Union support. Uh, right, so I'm gonna go at the cost of the game now. When you're watching this, by the time you're watching this video, um, the cards are already in the game. Both these and the new uh, Pocket Knight cards. And these all of these will be in the game as well uh, I did this today as well but it's in a separate video you can go check it out if you want to if you're still if you're interested and yeah so thanks for watching take care bye bye Peace.